Alright guys, welcome on back, and we got our... I couldn't craft, like, the better, better versions of them, but I was able to get the simple ones, and I had enough tier 1 uh, essence left over. So we're gonna try to, to scale this beast. Um, it's that one. Yep, yep. I have yet to do this. I don't know how this works. But we are for true gonna try it. V? Oh, our stamina is garbage right now. Especially with the heat. Okay, um, this is going to be rough. There's a shade spot right here I might be able to hide in. Oh, right here. Let the heat go down. Stamina recover. Does it just, like, not always work? Ooh, not really. Okay, let's let it fully... So... Pressing jump is working also? Yeah, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I should have taken like a stamina potion. Magic power, critical effective health, regeneration maximum, stamina. Uh, let's consume one of these. Press up a little bit of a. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. I do this before the heat hits. Oh, shit. This is a uh, lot more of a pain than I thought it was going to be. Is this isn't considered shade? This part is. Why did I stop? Come on, we got it, buddy. We can do this. Hey, we made it to the top. Sick, sick, sick. Pickle sticks. This is just a big, wide area of nothingness. You know what? It's this is fine. There's all kinds of people here. We got Gus. We got Calvin. We got uh, two. Hey, boy. What do you got? Refined. See, this is what I needed. A refined hammer. Better umbrella, these cost that which we got them. Enchantments, chromatic flame, engulfs a tool in flame, dealing fire damage on the next hit and maybe charge for multiple hits. Strength and duration of the flames increase with the caster's magic power. Shockwave. What? 
Restores movement speed after casting an enchantment. Realm cards, fortitude, and quarry. Potions. Cooking. Fish cutlet, light. Sugar land post, railway. Desert basic set. Desert style foundation stairs. Oh, this is like the stuff they have out there. Augmentations cannon used for hundreds of years. Alchemy, this impressive weapon of war brings more flair than firepower. So it more or less just. Ooh, wait, what is this? Unlocks. In the. By progressing in the Aviance realm. Oh, so this would tell you, like, where I can, like, which realm I can purchase these at. Got all of these. Alchemical boiler. Simple alchemical. I don't even have a simple one. Bonfire. That was terrifying. This is a better cooking station. Experience tender steak, seasoned raw meat, salad. Gotta think about this. I definitely want this, though. That is 100% being purchased. It's a better repair hammer. Better Umbrella. Dramatic Flame. Shockwave. I gotta figure out how to use enchantments. Because I have the Enchanters thing. Having the ability to catch things on fire sounds sick, though. We'll hold that. Proper guide, given determination etched on your brow. I'm guessing this encounter is not simply by chance. I was told you might help me, or vice versa. Not by fate either. I seek passage to Nightingale. See between your ears, Nightingale is off limits, inaccessible completely and utterly. For certain the city is unreachable. The portal network dismantled. Access was sundered. There's no door left unopened. There's, there's no door left open until we can find a safe means of reopening Nightingale's transepts. So where are you headed? With one safe haven out of reach, I continue searching for another. For these souls here, for all who are lost, which is why we are trying to reach a place known as the Watch. It's a curated realm, and so should be easier to access there. We can talk, take our bearings, and the factions can convene to plan how we might return to Earth. At the bottom of this cave, there used to be a permanent portal. Unfortunately, without the portal network to direct it, it's just a hole leading nowhere. It's the reason we've assembled this gate. Some wandering fool gets stuck between the realms. If we manage to secure its connection, we can make it safe again. Better yet, we can give it a new destination. Exactly. The goal isn't only to open the door, but to keep that door ajar, rebuild the network, or at least a piece of it, like it was before the Calamity. To achieve that, we need a portal stabilizer, which is why I've got my hands on this broken hunk of machinery. If we can repair it, we can attune the portal the cave to the watch so as long as the quarter mains lived up to his promise so how do we fix it three crucial components are missing a reliable heat source combustion fluid and an attunement conductor still such things from pale lodestone but it's impossible to collect from the interrealmic space with the bound about found 
on magical principles, thus scarce resources in the realms can substitute the missing parts since they're imbued with the same properties or so Victor's assured me. <coughs> oh Jesus, sorry about that. I'm following an elder Eotin heart, which I have one, they're just back at home. A pelocytic etched ingot and an automaton charm oil. All table from specific fantastical creatures. I got rid of the oil. Pretty sure. The source of the stabilizer came from the Elden Eaton. Obviously, these tree folk often hide among less agile cannon forest hunt realms. Be warned, they don't take kindly to tree loppers protective of saplings so the stories go. Okay, so I have that. There's a fey mineral, which will be our conductor in raw form. It's neither solid nor liquid. Non-Newtonian. Victor described it exceedingly rare and tough to mine, but chemically similar to pale lodestone. Apparently sky fallers, so we call them sun giants, collected in the form of etched ingots left behind by the court of Imperion. Sun giants have a tendency to collect stray Bay goodies, though they too are a rare sight, found mostly in desert hunt realms. And the charm oil, which was likely the easiest one to set your mitts on, legend tells the substance courses through the veins of automaton bishops. We secrete it to attract other automatons, though we understand little about these, these creepy imitations. I don't even know how they came to be. That's why Victor is out studying them in a desert, a strollable realm. I'm glad you asked. Not many are willing to bridge the necessary dangers. While I don't condone hunting such majestic beings, I can't condemn it in our current situation. You know, however, that many human deaths have been suffered by these creatures. Personally, I do some digging. Attempt to make meaningful contact. Hostility is in their nature, but it is not their only nature. So I shouldn't kill them. Do as you see fit. What I care about is obtaining the materials. If you can manage to avoid evoking the ire of realm spirits, you have my respect, though I am sensitive to the fact that it isn't always connected to survival. If there's truth and Cherries and eligible jokes. Sprawling creatures like these are open to human interaction. Which I am not. I begin with the charm oil by finding an bishop. Hunting is not on your agenda. Victor is out researching. On seeking out counsel would be beneficial. We appreciate a lent hand. Quicker route, then I'm off. No need to waste more words. Acquiring these resources will take time. Prepare, discover, and harness the arcane secrets in these wilds. Patience is necessary for all of us. I have four of those hearts. I thought they looked. Let's see. Special, so I didn't. Something unlocked somewhere? Oh. Ho, hey, ho, ho. The explorer's second doth keep her promises. An obedient cur. Not too fond of fairy folk, but who can blame the girl? While I regret that returning to Nightingale must wait many moons, Nelly's recourse has refilled your spirit, I see. The omen I carry is thus ill-timed. Whispers unfurl. Something is rotten in the realms, and it's more than the requiem being sung for Earth. As I took a knightly form, a little jay, tittle-tattled in my ear. Reports of darkness past, and of darkness still to come. 
The pale may only be the beginning of Earthkind's woes. Yet, not all jays can be trusted. And thus, before I tell all, I'll pry where I can while you seek the innards of beasts for Miss Bly. That was a little creepy. Leroy Jenkins. If I can harvest that or not. Uh, we're here. Now we ought to make the best of it. Minus minus device path to Nightingale. Nelly will find a place for you. Okay. So we have the hearts. We already took that out. That was one of the things we pissed off when we were... So so it, it was mad that we were chopping stuff down. That makes sense. Is there... Is there a better way to get up here? Or is that kind of why we got those climbing picks? I'm thinking that's why we got those climbing picks. I'm not seeing another way up here. I'm hoping the other things either climb faster or something because, I mean, I did just. Honestly, I, I think I don't. I don't think if I wouldn't have upgraded it, I don't know if I would have been able to do this. Yeah, there's this kind of thing over this way. Did she mark on the map where Bastille, that's those... Or what's his face was? Okay. Uh, that's to get the better gear score. Complete the bishop's charm. The heart of the... So we, we have one. So that's not an issue. I basically need to click on it and I'll get those. For the lumber. Dr. Frankenstein is studying the automatons. But she didn't say where he was, though. I just said I would go talk to him. Essence Trader, Essence Trader. Oh yeah, there's like a full-blown gap between here and there. I'm almost wanting to say he probably was at that other thing before I took it out. Oh, so an umbrella will help with the heat? Oh. Well, that that works wonders. I do think I want to purchase the better umbrella while I'm here, if I have enough. Oh yeah, it's just one of those. I'll get something. So I'm probably... He doesn't seem to be here. <laughs> My throat's dry. Oh, it's another one of those agility things. Uh, let's do 
this real fair real first real fast I kind of combined okay, so these agility things I basically just need to do an obstacle course for the most part it wants me to get that Is there something else special around here? Or do I just need to jump and get that? I just need to jump and get that. Oh yeah, I unlocked it. I just have to do it all over again. I got 15 more echoes. Nice. I mean, I guess I'll just see if his name pops up around here. Yeah, so it would have been nice if she would have said, oh yeah, he's working on it in, like, this location or something like that. But she didn't. those done. Showing roads. I've yet to see a road or even anything I would consider a path. This is, uh, I guess... Yeah, I guess so. That's not a major one, is it? No. Let's switch the... I hate the way its legs are moving. Absolutely hate it. I'm fast! Well, I guess I can put this on. I guess let's see what's at the end of this path and then I'm probably gonna go check out the other trader to see if I well hoping what's his face does show up at some point except for a part of me starting to kind of feel and I'm really hoping Alfred doesn't just start attacking things again It's because I don't think any of them were meaning to attack him. I don't think any, I think all of them are just kind of doing what they're what they're doing. The only thing that really attacked us, I'd say, is the one that had the uh, the gem. Wow, the amount of times that thing attacks is just insane.
Um, yeah, it's like, she's like that way. Let's see what's at this thing. So what's at this thing is a bunch of bullshit. Uh, three. Wow. Um Sure. Are you That's just another incredible. Oh, there's one of those things. I think I could probably just take that thing out. Oh! Wow, okay, I am hurting, like, bad, bad. Uh, nine. Check lug real fast. Some more that are spawning. And then missed. Me. That was embarrassing. Right in front of my friends, they are hurting me. I, uh... Oh my god. Like, I'm doing work on them. But, oh my god. I assume there's like at least one more round. Where's this? Yep, they're coming. There we go. I really want to find something that has, like, a better just, like, weapon weapon. I mean, obviously the axe works well against them. Oh, so I can... They're all recruitable now. Now that I help them survive. Okay, cool. Got that, and... 29. All right, sick. Uh, he's not here. There it is. And part of me is like, kind of mildly starting to think like, should I recruit a new person from here? Like, are, my biggest thing is, like, so are, are other people going to be, are you all going to be selling the same things? But you're just in different spots. I am going to probably say yes. I do want to check the other one, just to be safe. Bonfire. Army Condor really wants to bonfire. I have enough for that, or else I'd get it. I'm gonna buy the bonfire. Um, I'm buying both of these. The dude's still not here yet. There's nobody to just talk to either, which is like the worst part. But there was that one Aton of Aton thing. I really wanted to try to talk to that guy though, because like if there's a way to 
do this without hurting these things. And I'm going to get like better results. I feel like I would want to do that, right? It's that one way over there. So we have two of them right now. Dude, that sound that went off literally sounded like... My... I'm assuming it was a bird or some shit, but it literally sounded like when my daughter has like a, a nightmare freak out. I had a slight panic attack. Alright, sorry. But I... I have to do this. Teleported. Sorry. 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 Ow! Ow. Alfred, do better! the one. Uh, seven. Ah, good. You play fetch for Miss Bly. At risk of overshadowing your victory, I come with further tidings apropos of previous omens. While us Fay of the Summer Court are known for impulsive, indulgent delights, there is another court, known for other things. The Summer's Antipode. Perhaps you've noticed the lack of ice in the realms. This unbalance stems from the Winter Court being sequestered for nearly a century. The whispers that abound tell of the apparent return of the Snow Queen and her winter tide. I bring word not to brood over, not yet. I shall follow these frigid whispers like a dream, and you shall follow Miss Bly's task. Before I vex, I go, I go, swifter than an arrow from the Tartar's bow. I don't know if there was a reason to rhyme. I could be wrong. I guess there is. Maybe there's. Never, not even. Oh, this thing's almost broken. It's not much, but it's what we've got so far. These are all. Doing okay. How's our. Also doing okay. Uh, let's t oh, I wasn't expecting these things to just have stuff in them. I'm running right past them, being like, "Oh, I'm not." Mm. Mm. So we have both things from this, right? Ink it. We haven't turned it in yet, but we've got the one, I think. Yeah, we have that one. We just haven't turned it in yet. Blood Moon card, that sounds nuts. Um, The Etched Ingot. Required by killing a Sun Giant or by making an offering to a Sun Giant. Sun Giants can be... By killing an automaton bishop or by making an offering found a desert. 
Loom, or Hunt Realm. Offering recipe is unlocked through Victor Frankenstein. Victor Frankenstein can be found in a desert astrolable realm. Oh. Once again, people, read. I mean, I could technically, like how I already had it, so, on an Elder Spirit Expert, Nelly can fly, can be found. Wilhelmina Sass. Wilhelmina Sass. On Sun Giant Expert. I guess we're going to go talk to Wilhelmina Sass then. Um... We're actually a little, already a little over, as I've been trying to keep these episodes kind of shorter. So the other day when I, it took me like an hour and a day to figure out how to do the, the heart thing. Um, I was going to condense those down, but even after I condensed that episode down, it was still over 30 minutes. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to break that one and the next one to two episodes. But the amount that was done in both of them. It made that amount of sense anyways. Yeah, let's go talk to Wilhelmina. And see what she says. Because we might be exploring some other realms. Uh, regardless if we were thinking about it originally or not. Okay, nice. Let me know, what do you have to say? I mean... Calamity... Heard rumors of anyone notable out in the realms of these particular people. Someone who understands the ways of sun giants. Than a giant. I've received several reports of a swamp giant. Or Grendel, as they say, in a swamp gloom. Who speaks our common tongue. Some say she speaks all human languages, learning a new one from each stray wanderer who makes a f she makes a feast out of. Okay. About realm spirits. Visit an antiquarian swamp and you can thank me later. Well, that realm tells of ritual sacrifice to a vengeful fae. There are more than a few casualties, but I hear your expert, a woman called Ludivine St. Clair, yet lives. Travel to a swamp antiquarian realm. Travel to a swamp gloom realm. So we are eventually going to have to gear up to a much higher version than what we're currently at right now anyways. Antiquarian, that's, a, that's like a step down from the other one, right? I think I have some of the realm cards. Marksman Maleficent Barium. This one's Provisioner. Aviance Antiquarian. Antiquarian's only uh, level 20. So that should be our, our next expert. Part of me is like, do I keep this one here? And just open up another portal next to it? 
don't think there's a rule in regards to how many portals we can have. Biggest issue is probably going to be the ingots that's going to be required. I have enough lotuses. Oh my god, Alfred. Yeah, I think I have enough ingots. So I might just do that. I have one for exploring and one for story. I just need one. I'm going to take two. One that we can have on us in case we need to plant another one. I don't know why you're standing so close to me there, sir. Need lumber. Five more lumber and three more wire. So I will finish building this. I think we have... Do I have a swamp card? I don't know what's doing it backwards. I guess I need to craft up. A swamp card. I just need paper. Let's do three. Yeah, so I am going to get this portal set up. Um, so we have another antiquarian card, so we should be good on that front. It's just putting everything together right now I think all right y'all well I hope you enjoyed this one and yeah in the next one we are heading to the swamp to talk to um, somebody about about giants or at least we're talking to a giant about sun gods Yeah, check out the next one. Peace.